welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Alex from Alex's Innovations and a couple weeks ago I did a video on an Etsy crash course where I sort of showed you the basics of running an Etsy shop. Today I'm going to be looking at some of my Instagram followers Etsy shops and I'm going to be reviewing them. Now reviewing them doesn't mean insulting nor does it mean wholeheartedly complimenting. I want to be nice but I also want to give constructive feedback so I want to give you things that you can improve upon and so in doing so I'm gonna be saying things that are potentially not as good as they should be. So I just don't want this to be offensive, that's not my intent. My goal is going to be to help you and to help everyone watching so if they have a similar shop then they can apply those tips and tricks to their own shop. So yeah, let's. I'm just going to be heading over to Etsy. I did a little like question box survey on Instagram just asking people to put in their Etsy shop names. So I'm going to be taking my shops from there. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we are on Etsy right now. Here is my Etsy page. So that is all of the- Oh my god! That's new! My heart lollipops are our bestseller. That's cute! Oh, it's amazing! Okay, anyway, the first shop that we have right here is Peachy Knots. Whoa, Peachy Knots? We're at Peachy Knots page. Um, and I love the content. We have this lovely fruity lemon bracelet. We also have some giraffe dangle earrings, some woven rag red bracelets. Those look familiar. Ooh. Um, we have, yeah, so it looks like we have some earrings. We have some bracelets. So first of all, I'm going to be making this video assuming that the people in this shop have watched the video that I made on Etsy because it's been out a couple weeks. I'll be keeping that in mind as I'm giving them tips, but I can see that some of your bracelets have really nice white background, like this pink chain link friendship bracelet over here. It's lovely. The picture is great because I can see the bracelet. However, it's a little bit cropped, so the bottom's a little bit cut off. So if I were you, I'd recommend trying to either take that picture so it was a little more lengthwise, so like in landscape mode, or maybe rotate the picture a little bit so the whole bracelet is in the frame. Some of the other pictures, like this butterfly friendship bracelet, over here. You can see the bracelet, but there's a darker background with some things in it. Um, also, there's a hand holding it, but the hand is slightly cropped. So I feel like if you're holding the bracelet, either your hand should be in it more so you can like tell what it is instead of distracting from the bracelet. So I just give that suggestion. Um, for these earrings, the earrings look really cute, but it's sort of hard for me to see them right away because I sort of have to focus on the image for a little bit. And for buyers on Etsy, they want to be scrolling quickly, look at the item, think in half a second, do I like that? And if they if it's hard for them to do, they're just going to go past it. Um, so I'd suggest taking those pictures on a white background or a clearer background, like these giraffe ones. The giraffe earrings are cute, but there's a cactus right in the back and that sort of interferes with the outline. Um, these rustic hearts are okay, but again, with this geometric square, it's sort of a pattern with outlines so you can see the background and it doesn't really highlight the actual object. Um, but yeah, the avocado picture is great. This pink pastel daisy pattern is really cute, but I'd suggest somehow editing your photo or taking it or maybe making the string darker um, because it's kind of hard for me to see the daisies at this point. This can be hard due to the nature of the pattern, but I understand as someone who makes bracelets, but um, as someone who might be interested in buying it, I'd suggest making that picture a little bit darker just so you can see that outline a little clearer. Overall, great job, you're doing great. Next is Volcanic Bracelets Co. So this shop looks super cute. It looks like they have 25 sales, so they are getting up there. I have this announcement. Thanks for stopping by. Please note that shipping times may be extended due to backups at USPS. That is a great announcement, but there's no punctuation and the thanks for stopping by with a hyphen. It's not as professional, I think. So I think if you said thanks for stopping by exclamation point, please note that shipping times may be extended due to backups at USPS, period. Um, maybe also say something like all pre-made items will be ready to ship within X amount of days um, So you can emphasize that that's not your fault instead of sort of shifting the blame onto something else I'm not saying that you're doing that. I'm just saying it might be easier for buyers to know that despite the USPS backups Which is unfortunate you are still working as hard as you can to get those bracelets out on time so looking at the actual bracelets, um, these bracelets look really cute, but again, like the last shop, I'd recommend cropping your photo so that either the entire bracelet was in the photo or so that the majority of the photo was the bracelet. Like for this one, I'd suggest if you were going to crop the bracelet, because it does look like a repeating pattern, to maybe rotate it 90 degrees to the left so that you could have the longer aspect of the photo showing the bracelet. And I'd recommend that for all of these photos over here. Um, and also to take it on a less busy background. The flowers are beautiful, but the buyer's going to be looking at the flowers and not 
the bracelet itself, so I'd recommend taking it maybe in front of grass or, I mean, this, this pine tree is okay, but also just try and crop that photo. I'd also suggest taking a picture of your bracelet like head on, like, like down instead of with a perspective. Um, at least not for the first photo because then it looks like your bracelet's sort of slanted and you don't really want the buyer to think that unless it actually is. Yeah, I, it looks like a lot of people have your bracelets in your car so you're doing a great job. I see this free shipping here. I'd suggest that if you're going to offer free shipping to not um, because of what I said in my last video issues with lack of tracking and especially with the insecurities um, in the post office right now. Um, if it is untracked, I would suggest putting it in the description so the buyer is aware of what's going on. Um, but if not, then I would suggest charging shipping and then having the buyer pay for shipping because in the end it doesn't cost you anything. Again, I went over that in my previous video. So overall, you're off to a great start. Your bracelets look beautiful. I just think that if you made those little changes, your shop could get a lot better really quickly. Next is bracelets by Sarah B. We have 15 sales. So again, they're off to a good start. So the bracelets look really cute. I recommend that you have better lighting. You do have that white background, which is really nice, but the bracelets are sort of bathed in shadow. Uh, so I'd recommend that. Also, again, with the cropping, I'd recommend rotating the bracelets picture so that more of the picture was the bracelet. So I'd say maybe half and half bracelet versus white space, whereas yours are like maybe a fifth or fourth maybe. This picture is really beautiful, Arrowhead Friendship Bracelet, I really like that. Um, it would be really cool if all of your bracelets had that. It's also a little bit off center though, so I'd recommend maybe centering that or maybe cropping it so it was a little bit centered. Um, but that one's really pretty. For your titles, I noticed everything is lowercase, so it would establish a greater professionalism to capitalize the beginning of your letters. I'd also recommend checking your titles for typos, like right here I have costume order instead of custom, um, and so a buyer might see that and think you're a little bit untrustworthy, like if you can't bother to correct the typo in your title, how are you going to make a bracelet? Again, this is not how I think, this is, I'm trying to think how a potential buyer would think, and I'm probably being more critical than I should be, but you did put your shop in, so I'm trying to help as, as much as I can. Also, you have only three or four words per title, and I'd recommend taking advantage of all the space. You have something like 100 or 200 characters uh, for Etsy titles, so take advantage of that. Um, no one's going to really know what an X bracelet is. Think of things that people would search for to find this bracelet. Like this one, it says rainbow cross bracelet. So maybe it looks like there are zigzags there, it looks like there are diamonds, it looks like there are ombres, gradients, Aztec geometric, something like words like that, that you think people would search for. Maybe a specific color scheme, like for this one, it's turquoise to pink. So um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe there's some specific visco filter that I'm missing. I mean, I'm too old for this. Um, but try and think of things that people would search for to increase your search results so buyers can find it. Next is bracelets by Rihanna or Rihanna. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I've seen you all over TikTok and I love your TikToks. They're always so cute. So we only have three items right here, which isn't that bad, but the three items that you have are really good pictures. I love these handmade chevron keychains, which by the way, I made a tutorial for those if you want to check them out. We also have mini dovetails and handmade symbol candy stripe. I like how you have customized everything. So you have the specific length and the specific width. The description is nice and professional, so it it lists all of the strings involved and all of the ties. Um, then again, it lists the dimensions and it's accurate about it, which is great because I put in my last video, I've seen some people who put that the bracelet is six inches long, but then in the description they say it's five inches and it just doesn't really make sense. Um, for tie length, three-ish inches, I'd recommend using a language other than ish. You can use the squiggly line, which means like approximately three inches. You could do range between three and X inches. I'd recommend staying away from ish. Like it's, it's clear what you mean, but I think to be a little bit more succinct and professional about it, um, I would recommend making those changes. I don't know how I feel about going back to the basics here at the bottom. I think that could be seen as, as diminutive or condescending for someone who doesn't know how to make bracelets and therefore this looks confusing to them. You could also sympathize with other bracelet makers. So it's really up to your intended audience. Yeah, it says I have four available, but there's, it only says one in stock. So slightly confused about that. Um, maybe you can update your quantity in Etsy so you don't have to keep updating your descriptions. So you can say quantity available three, like like in a box, you don't have to put it in the description. So I'd recommend maybe coordinating those a little bit. Um, but again, that's like really picky. Otherwise, your announcements are great. I'm not taking custom orders at the moment, right to the point. And you already established that the listings in your shop are already made and ready to ship. 
So yeah, you have your social handles, um, you have 90 sales, so you're off to a great start. I love that profile picture. Um, it gives some really nice vibes. Um, but yeah, you're doing great. Good job. Next is Handmade by Amy Co. We have 183 sales, so that's great. Um, and we have some announcements right off the bat, updated September 16th, which is two days ago from the time of this filming. So that's really great. You have really recent. All right, you have Welcome to My Shop. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. That's great. That's establishing a personal connection with the buyer. All right, it says cow restock. I'm not sure which cow because there's a cow here, which seems to be available. So I'm a little confused about that. But you have so many lovely uh, crocheted items and friendship bracelets. Um, this picture is great because it shows the bee in front of a nice green background. Um, for the cow, the same thing, although those stitches are a little bit washed out, but that's like really picky. Um, you have these cute other bees and a crocheted duck. And you have some friendship bracelets, which look really nice. I'd suggest making the friendship bracelets a little bit bigger in the photo just to show a little bit more detail and i'd also suggest uh being really careful about free shipping maybe emphasize if there is or isn't tracked shipping because someone might say well you never said there was untracked shipping and then you'd be liable for that uh, if their package got lost but if you say that there's no tracked shipping then they you can say go look in the description but that's up to you <laughs> um but yeah overall your shop looks really good um i really like your bees i have some of those in my shop although mine are more expensive which is probably why they're not selling uh, but anyway um yeah you're doing great <laughs> next is vibe bracelet store they have three sales so they're just sort of starting out I recommend initially putting a profile picture because that will help set your store apart from the rest and also maybe an announcement of some sort if not anything that's actually announcing but maybe just saying welcome to my shop maybe say like your estimated shipping time um i'd also recommend changing vibe bracelet store in your bio because i'm quite sure in the bio you can put stuff like a little bit of what you do so i'd recommend not restating your store name because it's sort of right there um i'd also recommend it's up to you of course i feel like without any reviews and with very few sales customers might be reluctant to order a custom bracelet um so i'd recommend building up your reputation on etsy so people can see your reviews and sales and then once people are seeing that you have consistent five-star reviews, then maybe you can open up customs. But I'd recommend sticking to pre-made items for now. This um, diamond friendship bracelet over here, I'd recommend amending the title, like for the tips that I said before. So capitalizing letters and putting a lot more buzzwords and using words that you think people might use to search for your item. And I'd recommend taking it on a better surface. This one looks like a carpet, although it could be a mat. Anyway, it looks like a floor and I would personally wouldn't want to wear jewelry that someone else put on the floor. And I'd also recommend and centering the bracelet in the photo um, and like not cropping it out and stuff. For this one, it says keychain, but it looks like a bracelet. I can't see the, the ring if there is one and I could click on it and see it, but I'm trying to assume the view of someone who's scrolling through Etsy search results and they wouldn't want to click on every single item that they see because that would take forever. <laughs> anyway, I think if you make those changes, you could get off to a really good start and you can uh, grow your shop some more. Next is any Blia's bracelets from France, which is super cool. Um, so we have 20 sales, so they're off to a good start, and they have some 5-star reviews, so that's awesome. And they don't have that many bracelets, but the bracelets they do have are really cute. I would suggest that you take a different background because they're really busy, and you can see the bracelets because they're colorful, but it's they sort of detract from the detail of the bracelets, so I'd recommend that. I'd recommend capitalizing your letters in the title here. Also for exotic friendship bracelet, I'd recommend using more more words like stating the color, pattern, like diamond, yellow, green, um, Aztec geometric. But yeah, I love this profile picture. That's really cute. You're doing a great job. Next is Capabilities. I've seen this shop on TikTok and I think I followed them on Instagram, but I love their aesthetic. It's so cute. And I love this big banner image here that really gives a feel to the whole shop. And again, the profile picture is cohesive with the overall brand feel. So that's really nice. And I really like the handmade retro fashion accessories that immediately, that without even looking at your products, this landing page sort of really establishes the aesthetic of your brand. And I like it. <laughs> um, we have Asian American owned, which is great because people want to support um, businesses for minorities. So that's great. A shop ran by a girl named Cass, or Case, I'm sorry, I'm not sure. Bringing you pieces that are handmade with love, care, and her capabilities. I love that. And the little emojis too are so cute. I'm beginning grad school in September. So please be patient with me and I hope that your packages will meet your utmost satisfaction. All right, I'd suggest taking that part out. Be Please be patient with me because that implies that 
you feel like you're not gonna do as good of a job as you can. I understand that you wanna convey that you're working really hard. So maybe I'd say, I'm beginning grad school, but I assure you that all of my pieces here are pre-made and ready to be sold. That implies that you're concerned about making orders, but the ones that are shown are good to go. Cause I think that would be a little bit better than saying, please be patient with me. Cause you really don't wanna give that impression that there's a possibility you're gonna mess up their order. Um, that's sort of what that implies, but like, I'm trying to be positive, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to help. Um, anyway, we have triple daisy dangle earrings. These are adorable, I love that. Next we have some dainty daisy necklaces and the seed bead dainty daisy necklace, which is great. Again, great description, great words. Um, we have a sticker here and you have everything sorted into um, sections right over here. So yeah, you have a tons of five star reviews, so that's great. Um, you have lots of photos too. So this is a really good shop. I like, I love the aesthetic. So you're doing a great job. I would just maybe suggest changing that announcement a little bit just to make it a little bit more positive and reassuring for your buyers. But other than that, great job. Next is Crafts by JFLLC. So looking here, we have some Harry Potter bracelets and I love Harry Potter, but I'm gonna warn you, be careful because I and other creators have gotten bracelets and other products taken down for Harry Potter because they violated copyright requirements. So I'd recommend being really careful with that. I really like that you included the link, but in the design, three out of these five bullets have perfect in them. While you want to convey that it's perfect, I don't think that that word should be used three times in the span of five sentences. So maybe I suggest a slightly different word choice. Also $10, only $10, you're charging your, your like I feel like $10 is way too little. Like, especially when like when small businesses lower their prices, it sort of hurts everyone else in the market. Um, I think that's what I was saying with the bees earlier. Like the price is so low, like, you, like value your time. Think how much you want to charge yourself per hour and then how much do the, do the materials cost? And then a profit on top of that. Like let's say each of these bracelets, I don't know, take six hours. It would take me about six hours to make. And if I charge $10 per hour, that would be $60. And plus the thread, let's add another additional, I don't know, $3. So $63. Of course, no one's gonna buy a bracelet for $63, but someone would buy that bracelet for maybe 20. I, I don't know, 10 is, 10 is too low. Again, with the B too, the B takes me maybe, I don't know, two, three hours in total. It takes me longer to sew everything on than it does to actually crochet, honestly. But say the B takes me two hours, that's $20. Plus the yarn, let's say $2 of worth of yarn per B, that's $22. And I think I have it right now at around, I think it's around 20. Um, I don't know, just just charge yourself for what, what it's worth. Like don't, don't undercharge you because it not only hurts you, you don't make enough money, but it also hurts all the other small businesses out there. So yeah, I'd recommend making those changes. Um, I like this picture because the background coordinates with the bracelet, but yeah, I think if you make those changes, you'll be off to a good start. I'd recommend combining these rainbow loom bracelets into one listing because they look a little bit simplistic compared to all the other great work you have. And a buyer shouldn't come onto your shop and then see those four and then be like, you know what, I'm done. But if they only see one and then they see everything else, they'll be like, oh, this shop has a wide variety of products. So I'd recommend combining them and maybe listing in the title which colors you offer and then having a drop down so buyers can select which items they want. But overall, you're doing great and your products are so cute. Next is diamond bracelets, one, two, three. And yeah, some of these tips are similar to others, but I noticed like for the keychain, the keychain isn't centered in the photo and it has a little bit of a busy background, like sort of the rocks. Um, the rocks also look like it's on the floor, like on pavement, and I wouldn't really wanna have something that's on pavement. So I'd recommend maybe changing the background a little bit. I'd also recommend making the letters in the title uppercase so that so it's a little bit more professional with a handmade friendship bracelet at the end and lightning bolt and star according to the alternate text at the beginning. I'd recommend that with the other two in terms of centering the product and in terms of the title with this one. This one says twisted starburst and for someone who's never made friendship bracelets before they're not going to think of the word starburst and say that describes my perfect bracelet. They're not going to think of starburst that's not something they for this one they might say gradient blue snowflake with a twist friendship bracelet like try to put yourself in the shoes of someone who's never made a friendship bracelet or doesn't know the names of friendship bracelets so they kind of or if they ha they don't even have a specific idea it's really hard to invent a pattern in your head making friendship bracelets i don't i i can barely do it um i have to write stuff down and, and people aren't going to do that if they just want a snowflake friendship bracelet so i'd recommend putting as many keywords as you can think of that pertain that are actually relevant to your product i'd also recommend adding a profile picture up here adding a bio a little bit and an announcement just to more personalize your shop and make it look like you're really really serious about selling stuff
So I think I'm going to end it there for today. Hopefully these tips were helpful to both the people whose shops I reviewed and also to everyone else who's watching. If I didn't get to your shop today, I hope to get to it in a future video because I had like hundreds of submissions, so I'm trying to choose randomly. Also, I'm sorry if these tips came off as like confrontational or insulting because that's definitely not my tone at all. I genuinely want to help you guys make more sales because you got to support your small businesses um, and I want everyone to just be working as hard as they can and getting the most out of it. So if I can offer those tips to you with my limited Etsy expertise, I've only been on Etsy for like two years, um, if that, my, my second anniversary will be in October. Um, yeah, before that I was on eBay, but that's a different story because I was like 14 and like didn't really know what I was doing. But anyway, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. All of these shops can be found in the link in the description. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram so if I do more stuff like this, which I most certainly do, um, you can participate in them and be a part of my upcoming videos. And I'd also like to give a huge shout out to my patrons, but especially Jacqueline, Nancy, and Roxanne. So thank you so much for all of your support. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!